Okay, so do you guys remember with Pixel update, which was June Pixel drop for Pixel smartphones, we got some amazing features. Example, cinematic wallpaper, emoji wallpapers, improved adaptive battery, and many more. But would you guys believe if we can get those features on our Nothing Phone 1? Not every feature, but some of the features you guys can get it on your Nothing Phone 1. You won't believe it, right? But that's true. With Paranoid Android latest build which was released in this month and that's Stable Build 5 or you can call it as Topaz 5. That got some pixel draw features which we'll talk about them in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First, let me tell you, none of the custom rooms are perfect and the same thing goes with Paranoid Android for nothing phone one. Some minor issues are there, but if you are someone who wants to try out something different, then obviously you'll go for custom rooms. And we still have a good audience for custom rooms who always wants to try out something different. But one thing which I love about this Paranoid team is with the previous build, they did add this nothing stock camera on custom room, which is almost functional. There are some minor issues, which I have already mentioned in my previous video. But when we compared the picture quality and the video quality with that of stock OS, which obviously comes with stock camera, I did not see any difference. Everything was great, dynamic range, video stabilization, colors were accurate, sharpness and photos were too detailed. So you guys can find that video in the description below in which we have more focused on the camera segment. If you talk about the software information here, you can see this is based on Android 13. The version is Topaz 5, which is stable 5 and it comes with 5th June 2023 security patch, which includes June pixel drop feature. Some of the features, not every feature. And good part is this ROM also supports OTA update. So if you get any update from Paranoid team, that will be released via over the air. And now before talking about the features which have been added on Topaz 5, which is the stable build of Paranoid Android. If you guys like our content, then make sure to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel. So the first feature what they have added on this build is emoji wallpaper. So if you long press on the home screen, tapping on wallpapers and style then you have to tap on change wallpaper and here you can see there's a section of live wallpapers tapping on it you'll find the live emoji wallpaper section here there are a lot of options to customize these wallpapers where you can choose 14 different emoji as per your requirement then you also have patterns from where you can choose between you can increase or decrease the size after that there are some color palettes or you can say color options available but whenever you make any changes in the emojis pattern or color you won't get to see the preview but once you tap on apply that will be applied to the home screen and there's also an option which says randomize so tapping on it this will automatically generate the emojis for you which you guys can later apply on your device and these emoji wallpapers also have an motion effect so if you long press or if you try to tap on the screen you can see the emojis on the screen also moves little bit and with this newer build they also gave us the option to customize the lock screen where we have both the options left shortcut and right shortcut and beneath that there are a lot of options like video call flashlight etc we also have the predicted back gesture option available here but for this i think we need to enable a different flag which i'm exactly not sure about it and this can be found in the developer settings so if you guys are aware do let me know in the comment section below after that they also improved this feature of adaptive battery so i'll keep you guys posted in the comment section below how much battery backup i'm getting after this update because i have installed this update yesterday on my nothing phone one and since then i've been using this device and with this june update i did notice faster animations and they are quite smooth scrolling effect is good there are no lags or jitter to be seen background management on previous update was also good and the same thing continues here on this build also and if you see here there are a lot of calling animation which can be used for the glyph light so there are a lot of options which you guys can choose from and it is not only limited to calling if you go here you can see for the notification also there are tons of options and you can also choose individual app which should use the glyph light for the notification stuff if you don't want any app to use the glyph light you can directly turn it off from here battery level indicator and wireless charging support was already added on the previous build after that we also have this option called music visualizer so here you can see the glyph light in action whenever i play music and the syncing between glyph light and the music is pretty much well balanced 
And now talking about the performance parts. So if you talk about the previous results of Geekbench application, their single core had scored 1071 and multi-core scores were 3042. But with this latest update, little bit of lower scores are seen both in single core and multi-core, wherein single core have scored 1059 and multi-core scores are 2951. And since the previous build, I've been seeing throttling issues on Paranoid Android. Maximum CPU throttled up to 72% on previous build, but on this build, maximum CPU throttled only 70%. And this thing won't matter you in day-to-day -day usage. After that, we also tested out Battlegrounds Mobile India and with no doubt Battlegrounds Mobile India runs pretty much smooth. I never saw any kind of frame drops, sometimes 58 or 57 that will obviously happen on Android smartphones. But sometimes I had also seen 62 FPS while gaming. Gameplay was pretty much smooth. I did not see any lag or frame drop and device did not even heat up. After one TDM wherein the ambient temperature is around 30 degrees Celsius, bottom temperature of the device went to 37 degrees Celsius and towards the top side it was 34 degrees Celsius which wasn't that high with one TDM. So I personally did not notice any kind of issues with the gaming part also. So guys this was all about this latest build of Paranoid Android and if you guys wish to install it I'll provide the installation guide in the description below but before that make sure to watch our previous video of Paranoid Android in which we have more focused on camera and I have also mentioned what all new add-ons we get on Topaz 4 and this is the Topaz 5. But still if you guys have any kind of questions then let me know in the comment section below. As of now only this much in this video I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.